So as you know, after Donald Trump speaks, I always like to make these lists and I don't try to editorialize. I just say what it is that he actually said at his speeches. He gave two of some of the most unhinged speeches I've ever seen, which is saying something because I cover all of Donald Trump's speeches. I think he's getting nervous as we're heading to the debate in this upcoming week. And I just did a list, for example, of what he said at the Faith and Freedom Conference in Washington, D.C. on Saturday. And then later on Saturday night, he spoke at the Leah Cora Center in Philadelphia before a very tiny crowd. They had to like hide the fact that there was so many seats that were closed off and they put flags and other kind of drapes over it. So, I mean, here's what I said about what was what Donald Trump was saying. Um, he said he wants to have a fight league for UFC fighters to fight migrants. He said that he should not be mocked for telling the story about why he likes Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lamb, he said. Then he tells the story about his conversations with the fictitious murderous cannibal from the movie. He says that he should not be mocked for telling the story about how he'd rather be electrocuted than eaten by sharks. And then he tells that story again. He said he doesn't need his people to vote for him. But he says he needs his people to stop the steal. He suggested that a fort would be named after Al Sharpton. He said he's treated more unfairly than Andrew Jackson or Abraham Lincoln. He said people would, quote, be impressed if he took his shirt off and showed his body with all my wounds. He said he's a genius for saying that Nikki Haley is actually Nancy Pelosi. One of the things I didn't put on that list, but I should have, was that he also got angry that he wasn't able to say the word rebuttal. So he kept on saying the word refuddle. And he goes, what the hell is the word? Refuddle, refuddle, what the hell is the word? So while, while all of that's going on, you have Melania walking around in New York with a $33,000 Birkin handbag, as we said, uh, MAGA, keep sending those donations. Um, meanwhile, what's uh, President Biden saying? President Biden goes, democracy and freedom are on the ballot this November. President Biden says inflation was zero on a monthly basis in May. This is welcome progress, but prices are still too high. That's This is welcome progress, but prices are still too high. That's why I'm fighting to lower costs by increasing rental assistance, taking on big pharma, and investing in affordable, clean energy. Why well, you're not talking about creating a migrant fight league to fight against UFC fighters. What, you're actually talking about protecting the pensions of Americans, 52,000 Pennsylvanians, 71,000 people from Illinois, 71,000 New Yorkers, 62,000 from Ohio, 61,000 Michiganders, 90, 39,000 Missourians, 33,000 Wisconsinites, and many more. I mean, you're talking about protecting people's pensions, not trying to have uh, sharks eat you versus getting electrocuted. You're not talking about imaginary conversations with Hannibal Lecter. President Biden says, when Trump was president, he separated families and children at the border. And now he's proposing to rip spouses and children from their families and homes and place them in detention camps. We must stop him in November. And President Biden wrote that before Donald Trump rolled out what his actual plan is. He said it in Washington, D.C. before a crowd that purports to be a group of religious Christians, but they were laughing at the idea of UFC fighters attacking migrants. But Donald Trump said that his idea would actually be not just detention for migrants, but to put them in a fight league and have UFC uh, uh, fighters fight them. That's what Donald Trump's saying. Okay, so just so you know that I'm not making this up, you can go back and watch the other video, but this is Donald Trump saying that in Washington, D.C. before the Christian, the so-called Christian crowd there. Here, play this clip. They're tough. I, it is so tough. Uh, Dana White, did anyone ever hear of Dana White? He's a legend, right? UFC, ultimate fighter, ultimate fighting. And he has, he's a fantastic man. I said, Dana, I have an idea. Why don't you set up a migrant league of fighters and have your regular league of fighters. And then you have the champion of your league. These are the greatest fighters in the world. Fight the champion of the migrants. I think the migrant guy might win. That's how tough they are. He didn't like that idea too much, but actually, 
Not the worst idea I've ever had. And here is Donald Trump basically repeating the same thing when he was in Philadelphia at the Leah Cora Center. Here, play the clip. I told Dana White of UFC, I said, here's what we're going to do. You know, these are tough cookies coming into our country, it's coming with prisons and mental institutions. I said to Dana White, UFC, he's got a big fight going on right now. He's a good friend of mine. You know what he said the other day? They said, who's the toughest person you've ever met? He said, definitely Donald Trump. He said, Donald Trump. How about that? But I said, Dana, Dana, I have an idea for you to make a lot of money. You're going to go and start a new migrant fight league. Migrants, only migrants. And then at the end of the year, the champion migrant is going to fight your champion. And I hate to tell you, Dana, I think the migrant might win. That's how tough they are. That's what Donald Trump's been talking about. On the other hand, President Biden says, no one who has been abused should have to worry about their abuser getting a gun. As a result of a Supreme Court ruling that was handed down on Friday, survivors of domestic violence and their families will still be able to count on critical protections just as they have for the past three decades. President Biden writes, Donald Trump is worried Americans will hold him accountable for the cruelty and chaos he created by overturning Roe v. Wade. I have some news for Donald. We will. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We all carry around different stressors, big and small. And personally, I've been a little stressed lately. I'm not going to lie with everything that's going on in the news, but that's why I use BetterHelp. Can't keep those stressors bottled up because it can start to affect us negatively. Therapy is a safe space to get things off your chest and to figure out how to work through whatever is weighing you down. I personally benefited from therapy in my own life. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, why don't you give BetterHelp a try the way I did? It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You know how many hot takes I do, and it's great for me. Just fill out the brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Midas, make sure you spell it right, M-E-I-D-A-S, today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, better, H-E-L-P dot com slash Midas. Let's talk about what Donald Trump is also talking about, though. Donald Trump is talking about his inability to say the word rebuttal and instead to say the word refuddle. This is what Donald Trump was saying throughout the day yesterday, just so you can see it for yourself. Play the clip. And my stupid people, when I wanted to refute it, they said, sir, don't dignify it with a refuddle. Refutal or a refuddle? What the hell word would that be? Refuddle? What they'll say, he didn't know, refuddle or refutal, but they don't know either. <laughs> sir, it should not be dignified, sir. I said, well, I got to fight that. That's a, the worst thing you could probably say to me would be that. He said, sir. Donald Trump was also saying that uh, the crowd would really like to see his body. And if he were to take off his shirt, what they would see on his body are all of his wounds. And he says that he's got a good body. And that's what he talks about here. Play this clip. And I have the wounds all over my body. If I took this shirt off, you'd see a beautiful, beautiful person but you'd see wounds all over all over me i've taken a lot of wounds i can tell you more than i suspect any president ever so i've been noticing people like kyle sweetser a bunch of other people like this who have been reaching out we, we have conversations all the time I, I, by the way i'm speaking to some people who are even desantis supporters former nikki haley supporters uh, other people who consider themselves mainstream Republicans and conservatives. We have a whole series about people leaving uh, Trump and MAGA um, and, and saying we're not going to vote for Trump no matter what. And of course, independence overwhelmingly now shifting to President Biden because what in the world does Donald Trump even do? Like, what is this? It's so, are you going to give this guy the nuclear codes? Like, Kyle, Kyle Sweetser says, like, what do you think the policy positions? of Trump and MAGA are. What do you think the policy positions are? I mean, here's Donald Trump saying that 
Nancy Pelosi, that calling Nancy Pelosi Nikki Haley was a genius move by him. That shows that he's a genius. Here, play this clip. Uh, when I equated uh, two people, I, I equated them. I shouldn't mention the names, but I equated Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi. I equated them. They said, oh, he doesn't understand the difference. No, I understand the difference. He doesn't understand the difference between Haley and Pelosi. No, we understand that. I understand a lot of differences. But anything you do, the fake news will take it and turn it. But with him, they take bad stuff and try and make it look good. With us, they take genius, pure genius, and they try and make it look, right? They try and make it look bad. It's the exact opposite. So we one of the things that Kyle Sweetser says also is he goes, Biden has been more conservative in action on the border this year than MAGA Republicans. Biden is more conservative on foreign policy than Trump. Biden is still to the left, but not as far less left as Trump on trade. Biden is more conservative on debt than Donald Trump. Donald Trump added trillions of dollars in debt. More than 30% of our debt comes from Donald Trump. And where do you think inflation comes from? I mean, the inflation comes from the same way Donald Trump runs his businesses is how he was running the country. It caused some real, real serious problems. Kyle Sweetser writes, pick a side. You can't expect the GOP to be anything other than MAGA unless Trump is handily defeated in November. Rational Republicans should vote against Trump. Um, and then you have Kyle Sweetser also saying here, we are Haley voters voting for Biden now, hashtag Biden 2024. And we're seeing what those exit polls were showing at all of those special all of those primaries and what we're seeing in the special election, there's like 20, 30 plus percent of Republicans who consider themselves anything but Trump in the Republican Party. And that data is not being spoken about at all um, by any of the uh, any of the media. I'll leave you with this. Donald Trump's terrified of the debates, terrified of the debates coming up this week. And what he's saying is that he goes ultimate projection here. He goes, Biden's going to be injecting drugs in his ass before the debate. This is what Donald Trump's talking about. This one was in Philly. Here, play this clip. Because they want to get him good and strong. So a little before debate time, he gets a shot in the ass. And that's, they want to strengthen him up. So he comes out, he'll come out. I Okay. I say he'll come out all jacked up, right? All jacked up. Okay, Don, more excuses, more projection. Because when we actually look at what was going on in your White House, I know the media doesn't want to pay attention uh, to this stuff at all. But look at what was going on in your White House when Dr. Ronnie Jackson was supervising things, how it was turned into a pill mill and there was fentanyl patches being passed out, and ketamine being passed out, and provigil being passed out, and Adderall and Versed, which is the date rape drug. I mean, uh, copious amounts of these drugs were just being dispensed recklessly in the White House. All those fentanyl patches, what was going on there? We'll keep exposing it at the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.